Good morning, Dr. Eric here, Fanwood Back Relief Center, offering back and neck pain relief. Today we're gonna to talk about how staying active helps your lower back. In the past, the old school thought was you'd go to your family doctor when you hurt your back and they'd put you on bed rest. Um, what, we, what we found most recently um, is that doing this actually delays the process of actually healing and weakens the lower back. So now the change is in more staying active, even through the injury, uh, mobilizing, stretching, walking, helps to get the lower back back up and running normally. In your lower back, you have two different types of muscles. You have your superficial muscles and your deep muscles. The superficial muscles are used to perform motions like bending and twisting. These muscles are strengthened by exercise by loading weight on them, uh, like what, weight lifting. Deep muscles are used to stabilize posture um, and help, and physical activity helps to keep them in shape. When a person goes on bed rest, the back will weaken and begin to atrophy over time if it's a long enough period. Uh, as activity is resumed, the body will start to recruit superficial muscles to help stabilize the back. Because the muscles are not adapted for this type of function, the superficial back muscles will tire more easily. And in the presence of deep muscle weakness, normal movement will be impaired. This places a lot of abnormal stress on the structures of the, of the spine and could e actually increase injur injury later down the road or in the future for other muscle skeletal injuries. Also, bed rest can affect your discs, which are the cushions between the bones. They act as shock, shock absorbers and can affect the way those discs function. Not getting the proper nourishment, uh, exchange of fluid, water, chemicals in and out of the disc to maintain healthy uh, disc um, uh, health as far as circumference and make sure things are balanced on your spine. So, the results clearly show that physical inactivity uh, is more likely to result in back pain um, and reduced function and reduced disc height. And also well, by not moving, you're actually building up fat around the, around the back muscles as well, which obviously affects impairment, affects function of the, the spine as well, more weight, more loading on the spine. In my office, we engage our patients in specific stretches and exercises uh, right from the beginning almost. Um, you know, the, the, the treatments are geared at decreasing pain and inflammation initially, but then it's more rehab and function to allow that person to get better quicker. And then also, most importantly, uh, doing the appropriate stretches and exercises to maintain that and prevent f future injury. Um, so if you're having type, uh, any type of back pain and you're, you don't know specifically whatever stage you're in as far as if your pain is acute or chronic or you get occasional pain here and then when you overdo it uh, around the house, um, shoot me a message, give us a call. We can give you the appropriate stretches and exercises for your particular condition uh, and maintain to help to maintain good um, strength in those superficial and deep muscles of the spine. Any questions related to this, just give us a call. We are here and always happy to help. Uh, hopefully you have a great day today and thanks for listening. We will talk to you next time.